Hey Libra, it's your girl D here with 8th House Energy and I'm here to bring you your uh, October What Are Their True Intentions video. So I hope all is well with you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying your birthday season. Happy birthday! So let's see what we got going on for you guys. Just keep in mind this is a general read so take what resonates and leave the rest, okay? If you need a personal read, remember 50% off of uh, the following uh, placements, Libra North Node, Libra Sun, Libra Moon, Libra Venus, um, Libra Sun, all throughout Libra season. If you look down in the information box below, if you go all the way down to that bottom of that information box, you'll see the tarot card readings. Numbers 2, 3, and 4 are 50% off for those placements, okay, all throughout Libra season. So reach out if you need a personal reading, Libra. All right. Thank you guys for the love and support you show to the channel. You guys are amazing. I appreciate you and all the things you do for the channel, the donations, the cards, the, the money, the inspirational emails you guys send me just telling me, hey, I appreciate you. Thank you for all you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate you. So let's see what we got going on here. We're gonna There's going to be an extended. The link's in the box below. What's up with Libra here? With them and their person. This could be someone you're currently dealing with. It could be someone that you um, um, just met. It could be someone you may meet soon. Um, it could be someone from your past coming back because we are in Mercury and Scorpio. Okay, Mercury retrograde. Uh, so... You know, you're not supposed to take anybody back from the past during a retrograde. But, um, you know, you got people who either don't know or, you know, they get caught up in their emotions and forget. That could be a dangerous thing during a retrograde. All right. So let's see what we got for you guys. Libra energy. Now, these energies could be reversed, so I could be saying it's you, Libra, and it could be your person that you're dealing with. You know, just switch the roles, okay? I'm reading for Libra, not the cross watcher, so if you're watching this cross watcher, you'll have to switch the roles accordingly. Underneath the deck, we have the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let me show you the card upright. These cards I got from um, Spencer's. <laughs> they were like $8.00. And they don't show you what the cards look like. So I'm like, okay, well, let me just take my chances. They're only eight bucks. And um, so here's the cards. <laughs> All right, so we got the Ten of Pentacles coming out in reverse. Here's the Ten of Pentacles card. Okay, this is Taurus energy. I'm sorry, this is, yeah, it's Taurus energy. Um, so what is a Minotaur? M-I-N-O-T-A-U-R, Minotaur. Must have something to do with Taurus with the last four letters T A U R. But at any rate, I digress. So it's in reverse with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, when the Ten of Pentacles is in reverse, that could mean a few things. Um, it could mean that you and your person no longer uh, live together. Because when I look at the Ten of Pentacles, I look at it as you and your person sharing um, financial responsibility together, as in you live together. The Ten of Cups means that you're in love. So just because you have the Ten of Pentacles, you and your person could be living together, it doesn't mean you're in love. It could be roommates, it could be, you know, family members. It just means that you're sharing expenses in some way, shape, or form. It could be to take care of children, things like that. But when it's in reverse, that means that um, either you two have split up and you're no longer living together and or there's some financial loss um, in, in the situation, okay, when Ten of Pentacles is reversed. Um... Let's just take a look at these cards. So we got the Four of Pentacles in reverse. Here's the Four of Pentacles energy. All right, so Four of Pentacles reversed. That is um, Capricorn energy. And then we have the King of Wands. Look at the King of Wands. He's Anubis on this card. Interesting. Okay. Um, Lord of the Underworld or the Guardian of the Gates of the Underworld. And then we have the Four of Cups that came out in reverse. Okay. So that's Cancer energy. And then we have the Seven of Wands that came out in reverse. That's Leo energy. We have the Nine of Pentacles that came out in reverse. That's Virgo energy. And then we have the Tower energy in reverse, which is uh, Pluto energy. Pluto is uh, the ruler of Scorpio. And we know we have Mercury retrograde in Scorpio right now. So I feel like with the Four of Pentacles reversed here, um, somebody... 
somebody I feel like somebody is weak for someone or someone is trying to figure out a creative way to get someone to open up is what I'm feeling here someone may be feeling guarded or protected or they were guarded and protected um, but they're feeling open now towards um, someone or there is someone who is trying to figure out a creative way to get this person to open up. And I feel like they're trying to get them to open up financially with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse and the Four of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like somebody might be coming after somebody for some dough. Okay. This has been a recurring theme in the Libra reading. Check out my last re Libra reading. Um, now, another um, scenario here could be with the Four of Cups reverse and the Seven of Wands reverse. Um, hmm. With the Four of Cups reverse, this is someone just having a different outlook on things, a different perspective. I feel like they're no longer going to fight for the situation or they're no longer um, defending themselves or standing up for something or someone or an ideology. Okay, it could be a relationship that they're no longer standing up for or they're no longer fighting for. So I feel, I feel like that's what the case is. So I feel like somebody left somebody, right? Um... And somebody's trying to find a creative way to either get this person back in or to get money from this person is what I'm feeling for, feeling here. Um, and maybe somebody was trying to do that, but they may have given up on that. Could be. Now with the Nine of Pentacles in reverse here and the Tower energy in reverse, the Nine of Pentacles in reverse, I feel like this is somebody who, um, Again, there's a lot of emphasis on money here. Nine of Pentacles. Someone wants to be financially independent, but they're not. Um, and they're trying to avoid being financially destitute. So, yeah, what's going on is somebody here, whether it's you, Libra, or the person you're dealing with, somebody, um, you two split up. And somebody's not happy about it. Somebody is in the process of trying to figure out a creative way to get this person to give them some money. OK, it could be a scenario where you have um, a, a, a girlfriend and a boyfriend, OK, a long time girlfriend and boyfriend, um, and they um, have children together and the male may not want anything serious or may not have wanted anything serious as far as a committed relationship. And the female is like, OK, well, I got a problem with that. I got kids by you. So you need to, you know, you need to help me out. Or it could be another scenario where. There was a, um, two people, and it doesn't have to be a guy and a girl. It could be guy, guy, girl, girl. Take what resonates or switch it to your situation. Um, the people can change, but the scenario is going to be the same. Um, two people are no longer communicating. I feel like one person was communicating for the purpose of getting in someone's pockets. And I feel like maybe this other person found out, or even if they didn't find out, they just decided for whatever reason to um, end the connection but there is somebody who is saying, okay, I got to figure out how I can get back in this person's life. Hence, getting back into their pockets or getting into their pockets for the first time, you know, depending on what that is. And someone is trying saying that, okay, yeah, this person is, they're going to give me money. I feel like they feel like <clears throat> that you're going to give them money for whatever reason. Maybe you have children with them and you have been very generous to them in the past. And so, you know, now maybe your children are coming of age and it's like, OK, now you don't have to, you know, take care of so much or you don't pay child support anymore or you don't have to do so much for the child because the child is now grown. And so, you know, you and this person may still bump uglies, meaning you still may uh, have coitus, <laughs> OK, or have sex, but you guys are not in a serious relationship. And so somebody is missing that money and they want that money because without that money, they're going to be financially uh, in shambles. They just, I feel like somebody just wants to be taken care of. Interesting energy. Okay, <laughs> so let's, let's do another spread here. And what we're going to do is we're going to do an extended on this spread I'm going to do now. The link's going to be in the box below. Okay, it's a Patreon membership. If you guys are interested in, um, like, there's, I'm, I'm thinking about offering um, a one-time extended, meaning that you get to have access to just the Libra video, you know, for a particular price. Because what I do now is I have a Patreon membership where it's a monthly membership. It is only five bucks a month, but some people don't want a monthly membership. Some people just want to watch the video, um, access it, um, and then that's that. 
Um, so if you're interested in that, let me know in the comments because if you guys are interested in that, then what I'll do is I'll set up something for Vimeo where um, you will be able to um, just watch whatever video it is that you want to watch instead of the monthly membership. The monthly membership does give you access to all 12. Every single video that I do, I do an extended. The only ones I don't do an extended for are like the collective readings um, and the bonus readings. But I post for you guys like every week. So if you um, think about it, the five bucks a month is not bad because every single video for all signs um, usually has an extended and you have access to that unlimited access to all of them for five bucks a month. But if you don't want that, let me know because I'll get Vimeo. Um, Vimeo is a little pricey, but if I have enough people who want it, then I'll go ahead and I'll do it. I've been getting a few people asking me in the comments, but I'm going to ask on every video now here to see what people, um, if people want it, they give the opportunity to say something. So let's see what's up. Actually, I'm going to do it like this. So I need three more cards for Libra. Okay, that one to come out upright. One more for Libra. Thank you. All right. So the overall energy for this spread here is um, the Ten of Swords. Okay, Ten of Swords energy. So this is feeling betrayed. This is someone feeling slighted, um, feeling as if maybe they were lied to because swords deal with communication. Um, maybe they, um, and maybe it wasn't that they were lied to. Maybe they misunderstood something, okay? It could have been manipulation involved though. Um, all of those things could have been involved, but or someone could have just been looking at a situation one way and then they realized, wait a minute, I've been fooling myself all this time. Okay, so we have the devil in reverse. Okay, major arcana, Capricorn energy. We have the knight of cups in reverse. This is uh, uh, Piscean energy. Okay, we have the seven of wands upright coming up again, but in upright. We have the five of pentacles, Taurus energy. Okay, we have the star, major arcana, Aquarius energy. And we have the four of swords, which is... Uh, Libra energy so it's like with you and this person I feel like there's a strong sexual connection okay I feel like with this ten of swords here and this devil energy somebody is not accepting the fact that this was just a strong sexual tie it could have been a scenario where it was a one night stand that somebody got pregnant and then y'all just continued screwing over the years and you know one year turned into two two turned into three three turned in here's a baby you type of thing but there i feel like there was no committed relationship or if there was you guys um and maybe ended up breaking that off for whatever reason or how but i don't feel like it was any i don't see there's four cups here um where's the four cups oh the knight of cups in reverse but there's no cups here telling me that this is love Okay, the devil in reverse is telling me this is sexual energy. So I feel like between you two, it's a strong sexual communication, a strong sexual connection. And maybe somebody is um, unfortunately having to deal with the reality of that. Maybe someone tried to make this work, but they weren't able to. Okay, um, and so they weren't able to because one person is like, look, I just want, you know, what I want. And that's that. I don't want anything else. Now, I feel like... Um, you know, the way your person feels about the situation is, is that, you know, they're, they're a player, okay? They're player energy with this Knight of Cups in reverse, okay? So with the Knight of Cups reverse and the Devil energy here, this person is a player, okay? They um, mess with multiple people. They have always messed with multiple people. I don't feel that they've ever been, um, you know, monogamous with you. And this could be a situation, Libra, where you were in denial about things or um, either there was some type of lack of communication for sure with this Ten of Swords energy. Okay, whether this person was manipulating you, telling you what they what you wanted to hear or whether you were um, communication is not just verbal. It's also watching someone's actions. People can tell you a lot about how they feel about you just by how they move, how they treat you. 
um, their mannerism when you're speaking to them. You know, what I do sometimes is I will replay a situation in my head without the voices and just watch people's actions and watch their mannerisms, watch their movement. And it tells you a lot, you know, so when you look back in retrospect at this situation, because again, we're in Mercury in retrograde. All right. And it's in Scorpio. Scorpio is about hidden feelings, hidden motives. OK, people's real feelings coming to light about a situation where they may not be directly saying to you, no, I don't want a relationship with you, but you know, they're doing everything that you would do. You, you guys are doing everything you would do in a relationship, yet this person won't offer you or take things to the next level. That's what I'm getting at this energy. Now, how they feel about you deep down is the seven of wands energy. I feel like they feel that you're one of many options or they feel like um, they have to fight you you know, because you're over, maybe you're too aggressive. If you're not too aggressive, maybe it's that you want something that they don't want. And they feel like, you know, there's a battle between you two. Uh, because that's what I'm getting the way they feel about you with this Seven of Wands energy here. Yeah, so I feel like um, that's how they feel about you deep down is Seven of Wands energy. So I feel like it's a it's like a battle. And I feel like there is some manipulation going on. Um, I don't know what type of conversation went on between you two in reference to, hey, I want a relationship. Can you offer me that if that's going on? Or if you just hung out with this person, you guys got together, there was a strong chem chemistry. You guys had sex, you ended up having a baby and the chemistry was still strong. Plus the person had a child by you. So you guys continue to convene that way. And um Maybe there was no definite conversation involved or maybe it finally was and now you're at the Ten of Swords energy where it's like, okay, this is bullshit. I've been around. I've been doing this for you. We've been together, you know, and you're feeling portrayed. I feel like the mutual energy between you two is the Five of Pentacles energy here. Um, both of you feel like the situation is um, done. Um, both of you, I feel like, are in agreement that, you know, maybe you two should move on. There could have been an argument with this Ten of Swords. And as a result, you both with the Five of Pentacles energy said, you know what, let's um, separate. So some of you could have moved out, you know, if you were living together. Because remember, in the last spread, we had the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. All right. Indicating someone may have moved out and they don't share expenses anymore. So this person is trying to come up with a creative way or like I said, the child may be grown now if there was a child and now this person is trying to come up with a creative way to get money out of this person because now there's no more money now that this person is, maybe this person is leaving for someone else. But I feel like what would keep you two from working things out is the star energy, which is you having hope and faith in the situation or actually a miracle is what I'm feeling here, a miracle. Because like I said, this relationship has been going on for a while. OK, and if you continue to pursue this with this person who just wants sex with you, um, you know, four to six weeks from now, um, you know, we have the four of swords energy here. All right. And this is an energy of, um, you know, you and this person not speaking. So I feel like um, if you don't cut things off, this person may cut things off because I feel like for some of you, maybe your person is deciding that they want to be with someone else. And now this is why this is all coming up. That could be the case because it's not going to just come up out of the blue. Um, there had to be some type of conversation or action that got you to the point where it was like, OK, enough of this. I'm feeling betrayed now. So that's the question here because we got the king of cups in reverse. So we know that this person was definitely playboy energy, player energy. All right. Or this person is not emotionally available. The king of cups in reverse could also represent that this person could be in love with someone else. So like I was saying, something must have come up to the point where it's like now you two are no longer together with the five of pentacles and this person is moving on and, and you know this person is moving on and you you're moving on as well or you're trying to. Then we have the ten of wands in reverse. So I feel like letting go someone's letting letting go, whether it's you or this person. Or both of you are letting go because the mutual energy between you is the five of pentacles. We have the emperor in reverse, which is the major archon of Aries energy. And then we have the four of wands in reverse. So some of you are getting divorced. Um, but I feel like more so this is there are some people who are getting divorced because things are not working out. Um, and so as a result, people are moving out. And then one person is like, OK, well, how am I going to get this person to open up and give me money? 
because they were doing that when we were living together. Some of you were being taken care of by this person, whether you were married to them or not. But the emperor energy could also represent the fact that you were with this person for a very long time. Like I said earlier, I feel like you guys were with this person for a while. Okay, it was a situation ship that turned into children and then just kept going. All right. So, you know, the emperor in reverse energy for me, that's like 10 plus years you've been with this person. All right. So we have that in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. So your idea of being married to this person is no more with the with the emperor in reverse and the four of wands in reverse. Um, so I feel like the, at this point, you've accepted the reality of the situation here where, you know, this person was player. They were player energy with the devil in reverse, the knight of cups reverse and the king of cups reverse. They were not going to be serious with you, is what I'm feeling here. And I'm sorry I have to tell you this, but I got to tell you what's in the cards. I got to keep it funky. I think that's why a lot of you like my channel, is because I keep it 100 with you. I'm not on that cookie cutter tarot shit. I got to tell you what the cards are saying. So this is what I'm feeling here as far as how this person feels about you. Now, this person could be trying to come back to you, or you could just be in retrospection mode, again, because we have Mercury and retrograde and Scorpio. Again, Scorpio is about the hidden feelings and emotions. And so maybe you're looking at the situation and you're realizing what this person's motives were all this time, which was sex and, con and the convenience um, of being around you. Some of you were dealing with someone who was married with the Emperor in reverse and the Four of Wands reverse. Some of you are de were dealing with someone who was married. You met this person um, and... Um, it was a strong sexual connection with this person, but this person was playing around on their partner. Um, and I feel like there was, um, you know, this person feels like your Seven of Wands energy, like it's confrontational dealing with you. You know, like it's it's going to be a fight. It's, it's an issue dealing with you. So maybe you guys got into an argument and then with the Five of Pentacles energy, you both went your separate ways, left the situation alone. You know, and the only way that, you know, the situation will work out is if there was a miracle that happened. Okay. Um, and so what happens is you guys end up not speaking with the four swords. So, yeah, I feel like for some of you, you were dealing with someone who was married. So for some of you, you were in a situation that took its toll. For others of you, you were dealing with someone who was married that you cut off. Okay. Whether you knew they were married or not. So what we're going to do, um, if you want to come to the extended, the link's in the box below. But if this resonated as is, please let me know. Um, click the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And um, if you want to share the video with someone who can relate to this, please do. But we'll go ahead to the extended. The link's in the box below. I will see you there. If not, I'll see you in the next reading. So peace out, Libra.